Hi everybody. So welcome back. So I'm vlogging today. So I am here to tell you guys that I am back to my podcasting. Uh, I have been absent for absent for um, a year, less than a year, because I was nursing my voice. I mean, you can hear my voice is a little rust, uh, um, rough, rusty. <laughs> they, what do you call that? Uh, raspy. <laughs> I sound like I smoke. So anyway, so I sound like I smoke. Um, I smoke a pack a day or several packs a day. But um, I said, you know, it's not going to change. I think um, it's just going to be like this, I guess, for the rest of my life. Because of the fact that I had that surgery, if you can remember, about a year and a half ago. I had my trach put on there and of course I had the surgery to remove an abscess right outside my esophagus. Unfortunately, it has not come back to my normal voice. I mean, I, my normal voice has not come back. So um, I just decided now to, uh, you know what, this is my new me, this is my new normal. And the most important thing is the fact that I am alive. And um, I am still here, even though um, I'm still battling. But you know, um, I have suffered so many losses, our family it is uh, actually, suffered so many losses in the last uh, four months, less than four months. Three of our family members uh, passed away, unfortunately. Uh, so suddenly, you know, my cousin Michelle in March, my uncle Ben in June, and my cousin Linda in July. So there are, uh, um, it's, it's actually um, testing my mortality. At this point in my life, I actually um, tell myself that none of these anymore matters. None really, none, none of these matters anymore. What matters is really the time that you have left and the time that you spend with your loved ones and your friends and your relationship with people and how you treat others. And um, that's basically it. All these material things are just secondary. Your quarrel with your neighbors, just, just all these nonsense. Because after everything is said and done, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, it's like we all, we are all going to go in the same place. When you pass on, none of these really matter. And is this really the legacy that you want to, to, uh, to leave? I'm not trying to leave a legacy. I'm just trying to leave a, a footprint of kindness of kindness, understanding, generosity, love, and compassion. Those are the things that I can offer at this point in my life. I have no material wealth and I don't desire anymore to, to chase after the material wealth. Um, the most precious commodity that I do have is time. So with that said, um, you know, time and spending time with friends and family and with those and with people that you meet along the way is actually is is actually what I treasure most now. Um, it is something. It is something that I have always. I guess it was missing because when I was younger, when I was younger, I have always chase after the success, you know, um, prestige, uh, what society define as success, you know, having wealth and having that societal status, 
uh, being known and, 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 and all these achievements in life that we perceive to be a success. And where in reality, all these things really don't matter. And um, what I have discovered the past year also is reconnecting, reconnecting with friends, long lost friends, and also uh, family members, relatives of whom I have not met because, um, you know, of uh, just basically uh, how, you know, the, 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 the distance and uh, reconnecting and uh, having the opportunity to do so is, is the most amazing feeling. So, um, yeah, I would like, you know, there are life wherever you are. Ran out water. Life wherever you are is how you make it. Is is how you make it. Is not is not at all about how others make it for you. You know, your life is not going to be made by others. But this is how you make it. No matter how stressful or how rugged and how mundane may be the task that uh, you have at on, it is just how you make it. It is just how you live your life. It is about your perception. Because no one can give you happiness. No one. And nothing can give you happiness, not unless you find that happiness deep inside you, within yourself. So, um, <clears throat> and yeah, so that's one thing that I have discovered. Discovered, actually, this past of few months or not years, past few years, ever since I got sick. I, you know, before, like I said before, I was, I was busy chasing the dreams. You know, it's like not just minding and just going and chasing and, you know, all these material wealth, you know, uh, the who is who, hanging out with who is who. So, so anyway, so, so tonight I'm going to start going back to my podcast. So I am going to put the link. So I am in several platforms. I am in Apple podcast, in Amazon, um, Spotify, Google, you name it. You know, I am in all those platforms. So wherever you subscribe, you have subscription. You can also download my, my podcast and just listen to, uh, to it at a later date. So, um, you know, I would like to hear from you. I would like you to email me or I would like you to message me and give me something to talk about. So tonight, I am going to talk about people um, not wanting to get the vaccination. Okay, I can understand it. And by the same token, you know, I don't understand it. So anyway, and many things and many other things that we, uh, uh, that, I don't know, just like everyday things. And um, okay, so I have another one too, is that you know, we have a home in Vermont. Well, <laughs> and I'd like to promote that. <laughs> a home in Vermont. And when we're not there, <clears throat> if you are in the United States, or even if you are not, if you're visiting, someday when the borders open, those of you Canadian friends and you know, friends from all over the world. I mean, you know, there is this beauty. It's called the Monspache, which is Latin for um, <clears throat> Latin for mountain peace. It is a beautiful slice of heaven in between Lake 
Lake Catherine and the mountain. And it's tranquil and serene. I just can't explain to you. You know, not unless you're there, I, I'm sure that you have seen my photos. It is an incredible, incredible piece of, uh, not just property, but the location of it. The community, the community where it's situated. I mean, the people are just so wonderful. Wonderful and so welcoming. So anyway, so, so I'd like to hear from you on my podcast tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm going to put the link, okay, so that you guys can just uh, download it and listen to it um, in your free time. But I'm going to go on live. I like going on live. So there's no editing, so you just have to forgive me if I slip, <laughs> because I say it like it is. But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And also, <clears throat> subscribe to my channel. I have a vlog on YouTube. It's Chat with Dr. Connors. Again, thank you, Chat with Dr. Connors. And I'll see you guys on my podcast. Bye.